the Lannister army, victorious from its siege of Highgarden, is now on its way back to King's Landing. But little does it know that there is a horde of Dothraki and Unslead ready for them. Welcome back guys, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with some Seven Kingdoms action for you today as we're recreating the loot train uh, ambush, you could almost call it, by the Targaryen forces of the Dothraki. And I'm pretty sure the Unslead were there and obviously Drogon was there but we cannot uh, add Drogon sadly. Um, but we do have a load of Dothraki down here. It's a little bit laggy because there is a, well, a lot of them. There's like units of like 100 down here, there's uh, units of like 200 I'm pretty sure on the far side, like the Dothraki Kalazar. But uh, yeah, these guys do look amazing and it should in time ever so slowly clean itself up. But it looks like there's going to be a charge here in a moment. We're going to have some of the cavalry charging in. And yeah, we're going to get a bit of a clash here. And these uh, Knights of Westeros are now fighting against some of the best horse lords in the known world. And yeah, it's a, ever so slightly laggy. I don't know whether it's the map. It may be. And this is a modded map. It also may just be because, uh, well, this is a lot of units on a map for, uh, well, on, on the map for this mod. But I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, content at the moment. This is a very quick thing that I've uh, just put together because I've been a bit busy today. Uh, and I've always wanted to come back and do a bit more Seven Kingdoms action as a big fan of Game of Thrones. But um, yeah, if you have been enjoying the content, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And a comment to show your support. If you would like to see more uh, Seven Kingdoms scenarios, then do feel free to let me know. Uh, let's just hold on you, actually. But uh, yeah, so I mean, you can see here, these guys... I mean, these colors are... Um, these uh, Dothraki, sorry, are clearly already... No match for these Knights of Westeros as we're going to see another charge go in here. No match. I mean, they are lightly armored in comparison, but they are more nimble and more mobile. But, uh, yeah, so we, we haven't touched this mod in a little while. I don't think it's really getting any more updates, but there's a few more scenarios that I'd like to try and do. Um, I don't think replays really work for this mod, sadly. I've uh, just decided that I'll just quickly put some together. This one takes very little micro, so this is an easy scenario for me to put together for you guys. Um, but as you can see here, this is just a massive line of infantry. Uh, this is actually the only time that I've really seen the Dothraki not be very aggressive. They've usually been a lot more aggressive. I've done this uh, scenario a couple of times just to run it through, see if it works. Uh, and uh, yeah, they are a lot weaker. And then my cavalry's about to die. I don't really care. It can go and die. It's done its duty. It scared off a lot of these guys. And I'm the Lannisters. I don't really care about my men. We don't care about our men as much as, say, like the Northerners or the uh, or some of the other factions. With look at that man, he's floating. He's lost his horse and he's decided to carry on floating. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what happens when units die in this mod. A little bit uh, interesting there. You can see the generals are charged in. They've just decided to char charge their general in. Uh, so that's very smart of the. Yeah. Um, so that's probably not going to help because this is just against the AI. So it's not going to be anything masterclass but uh by then but we'll see what happens here let's send some infantry out let's go and get some infantry gut into action here into action man let's hit the let's hit the uh offensive take the offensive to them there's gonna be a slight difference what happened in history but that's what probably happens when you don't have a dragon you get absolutely destroyed like this because the Lannister army was very, very elite. Very, very strong. I mean, obviously, so the Unsullied. They're very elite. They're some of the most disciplined men in this, uh, in the known world. I wouldn't know what you call the entire world, but Westeros. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, they do, they've done a good job. Uh, we'll actually keep these guys on the flank, just keep an eye, because these guys are going to get slightly destroyed. Uh, let's put some spears in there and have you, like, stretched out. But, yeah, these units are huge. Huge units. Um... Uh, they're actually pikes. Oh, no, they're not. They are spears. We'll have them go forward. Uh, Jamie Lannister. Yeah, let's have him in combat. Let's see if we can find him. He's somewhere in there. Uh, I actually can't see him. He's probably quivering at the back. Uh, but let's have a look. Let's see if we can find him. Let's, uh, he's giving him some guardsmen to help. Yeah, our general is under attack, and I told him to do just that. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can find him. And there's some other uh, famous faces on the battlefield. There's Grey Worm, 
There's Jorah Mormont. They obviously aren't at like this battle. I don't believe they are anyway. But um, I thought I'd add them. Jamie is here. There he is. He's right at the back. Like I said, he'd be quivering at the back. What a coward. What a coward. Um, one of my favorite characters has got to be in this uh, in this universe. Look at that. That sheer amount of guards there just holding on. Um, Jamie can carry on. He's a, he's a mad lad. He would just charge on. But, I mean, yeah, some of these infantry are getting pretty beaten up. Not many, but some. But, yeah, it's a huge, huge fly in this. And I'm glad to see that the AI is just actually is using hammer and, like, uh, constantly, like, cycle charging with these, uh, Kalazar. Looks like we're going to one, get one here a bit. Or maybe not. They're going to charge in. I'll give them the excuse. Here we go, they're going to charge in. They're going to do some damage here, surely, on the charge. Nope, they stopped at the last moment because that's the AI. I wonder if the uh, these Dothraki Kalazar have, uh, like, skirmish mode. Quite possibly they do. But the red... I mean, if you want to do want to see more Game of Thrones, do let me know in the comments. I always enjoy reading your comments and I always want to know what you guys want to do. But you can see here, this pike line here. Obviously, I brought other units that they never had at the, uh, like, the ambush of the loot train, the loot train ambush, but it's just going to kind of show off new units if you've never seen them before, if you've never, like, seen this mod on the channel. This is a shameful display. But yeah, we are probably going to be just fine. I can't actually see where Jamie is. Oh, he's very much up there. He's still in the fight. Push forward with these men. Push forward. This horde of Lannisters that we have back here. These are all the guardsmen, the really elite stuff. So you do have usually like militia, you have like normal infantry, and then you have like guardsmen. And there you go. They've broken all of them, and we're going to charge in the side with Jamie. I don't really mind risking Jamie. We've kind of won this battle anyway, or we should have won this battle. Balance power is slowly shifting in our favor. Um, send some more of these guys in. But I mean, yeah, our infantry does kind of get defeated by uh, Unsullied if it's left un untouched, un uh, unaided. Oh, look at this. It's the field of floating men. Yeah, that's it. It kind of uh, ruins the immersion a little bit. Yeah, I do apologize about the lag a bit. I think it's the map. It's a little bit, a little bit, well, it's not really complete. I don't think it ever was really complete, put it like that. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's, it's a work in progress. Oh, I do apologize. Don't know why it's paused all of a sudden, but there you go. But yes, so there we go. We are back to where we were. And, uh... Well, this front line's looking pretty bloody. A lot of dead horses down here. And you can see just the fire illuminating everything. Looks awesome. And well, these guardsmen here are basically through. We'll just stick them around. Stick these guys around. Excellent. But if you would like to see more uh, Seven Kingdoms, I've, there's, I've certainly got some other videos on the uh, channel. There's some really uh, good scenarios that we've done on the channel over over the time. And look at this. It's a full retreat. Full retreat by the cavalry. I mean, it keeps doing this, so that's the thing. Uh, send you around. Send this unit around. What's this? This is Unsullied Swords. This is the thing. Unsullied are just so nasty. They should. I think they're a unit that basically do fight to the death. They do not give up. Well, they do in obviously like in a like Game of Thrones history, but I think they do in the game as well. They keep that mechanic almost in, and they just look amazing. All these units are great. I think there is still one final update due. I'm not sure. It may already have happened, but. Uh, he is obviously working on other stuff as well. Now is the uh, guy that basically did it. It's basically one guy that's done all this on his own. Oh, that's my archers. My archers clearly got too close into combat. Clearly getting too big for their boots. Yeah, the cavalry's almost dealt with. We've lost currently about a thousand men, and they've lost about half their force at this point. I mean, a lot of them had charged into pikes, which is never a good idea. How this unit here, look at this, this unit still holding on. Giving them attack order after attack order. Charge in Jamie. Give a rally, I guess. Or they encourage, why not? 
Just pop everything. Where are you, Jamie? Are you in the front lines? Oh, who's breaking now for us? We got some spears breaking. Some Linus and spears. We are. I mean, the line is starting to break a little bit over time. But there you go. That huge flank by uh, Jamie is now, well, available to do whatever. All right. Yeah, Jamie is able to lead the line. He's leading the line as he should as a true Lannister. Yeah, I mean, we've got still a tiny outskirt, outcrop of a force over here doing their bit. And they, I think they're getting cycle charged by all these units. The AI is actually kind of playing smart for once. I'm kind of surprised. Pope is surprised. There you go. Jamie's going into combat. He's going right into the de deep, dark depths of this force. Here. That is not a good sign for him. Jeez, he might need to be careful there. Archers, support him. Support Jamie. He's in a lot of danger. Oh, yeah, he's losing decisively in there. What is going on? Who knows? Men are running. Stand and fight, yeah, Jamie's uh, bodyguard is getting very much cut up. And they're just pressing on in. They're just going to press on into the pikes. They've got nowhere to go of these guys, apparently. They just need, there's no choice. But they've got to go into uh, Jamie's unit or they go into nothing. Oh, my God. What was that? Dothraki cars are breaking at 50 units. Oh, and there you go. These units are uh, more Dothraki cars are now arriving. I love these, these few over here. Come on. Hurry up. Surround the men. These pikes are freed. Where is Jamie in all this mess? I've been trying to find him. There he is. Right in the center. And he's going to go back in. Get some kills, Jamie. Get some kills. Let's see if we can get a kill. Yeah, he might have got a kill there. He knocked a few over. Let's see if we can get a kill. I don't really care if the enemy are losing ground. I want to see if Jamie can get a kill. He keeps swiping at people but not getting any connection. I think he must be using his weak hand. Uh, if you... Kind of spoilers if you don't know what happens in Game of Thrones and you kind of want to watch it. You might want to want to listen now. But Jamie does lose his uh, right hand, his strongest hand. His current sword hand he's using, actually. So no excuses here, really, Jamie. Um, in about season two, three, I think, he loses it. And, uh, yeah, he's uh, then having forced to use his left hand for most of the rest of the, uh, of the series. And obviously then goes... Onto well, he, he saw he's not as good as he used to be. Put it like that. He's not as feared as he used to be. But uh, clearly, he's not able to get many kills. It's, it's looking like there. We've got some reserves here. Uh, we'll send them up over here. To support our men. Uh, my archers are nearly dead. Nearly. Uh, oh, they're their spears actually. But there you go. Look at this encirclement. That is kind of devastating. Those poor and silly down here getting surrounded by all of these Lannister forces. And there's a lot of them at pikes. A lot of the pikes. And all these Lannister forces in the background getting ready. They're m mobilizing. We'll have some more forces sent in there. Send some in here. You can go over there. Excellent. And this, I mean, look at this unit. This is an unsley that's been around for so long. It's down to only 54 men. Well, it, only. There's, there's very few, to be fair, at this point. But uh, they're still not breaking. And they're surrounded. That's the thing. They get surrounded, they still fight on. These men fighting in the fire. They should probably be burning, but they're not. <laughs> Absolute mad lads. We've got archers in here now. We've got all sorts. And units starting to wave. I mean, it is... I mean, I have a lot of infantry. I did expect the cavalry to do a lot more devastation than it like it did in the first few tries of this, but uh, clearly well, they weren't up to the task today. Actually, let's have you come around here a little bit more. I mean, all the way on this flank as well, they're nearly won here against the uh, Unsullied. I'm surprised. The Unsullied are like one of the strongest units in this game. I mean... There is a lot more numbers of Lannisters, but I mean, Lannisters do have one of the most professional armies as well. I think their morale's quite good. 
I, they might win over here. They might win over here. This, if this uh, Kalazar is doing some more hammer and anvils, then it certainly would. But I don't know if they are anymore. They might have given up. And there you go. All these units are now like sort of fighting amongst themselves. They've not got really anything left to do. On these, uh, I didn't even realize my archers are so close to the front line. Oh well, they're fighting there. They're doing some damage. Jamie's still in here. Uh, no, let's just use that and then let's use that. There we go. All of those Lance forces are now freed up. We'll have them just stand behind there for some reason and just like they need, need anything new to do. And then you've got all the stuff down here as well. Jeez, there's a lot left. Oh, and they just broke. I'm surprised they've stood this long with uh, well, with the general dying so early on. But these are unsullied, so they are mad lads. They don't know when it's the right time to retreat. And you can see just, I mean, this is all that's left, really. I don't know when Mormon and uh, everyone else died, unless they're still in there. Mormon and... Uh, well, I can't remember who else was in there. Um, oh, um, Grey Worm. Grey Worm was in here somewhere as well. He, he is an infantry unit. So I would have thought he would have stood his ground. But he seems to have routed at some point. Who knows? Just got Unsullied Spears left. There was Unsullied Swords in here, but I think they've long gone. And there you go, the Kalazar coming in. It seems to lag when the Kalazar appear. It seems to do a lot of lagging then. You can see, oh my gosh, this is, I mean, it's lagging here for obvious reasons. There are so many troops in this one small area. It's just a sea of red and then a tiny, tiny, like, island of black in the middle. The black of the Unsullied. And they're, I think they're routing, they're starting to route. Yeah, oh my god, that's a chain route and a half. And yeah, that, that's them all gone. And there you go, a victory for the Lannisters. So we'll end the battle and we'll have a look at the end result. So a decisive victory. It probably was in the end. The loot train is going to change. I think they needed Drogon who would have probably destroyed this entire army on his own. Um, but yeah, obviously they can't add dragons, but it's a shame. But yeah, like Lannister archers getting 214 kills. I mean, Jamie got uh, 137. Another Lannister archer getting 247. Um, then we've got like Lannister pikes getting like 96. They did okay. Lannister spears getting 116, 125. Lannister swords doing pretty well. 128, I can see there. Um, Lancer, Lance cavalry. I mean, they were isolated, but they still got like 160 kills. And they were mo mace uh, mostly against Kalazar, um, which is pretty impressive. House guards. Um, getting, well, Lancer House Guards getting 115, I can see, 148, 140 for the Spearman variant. So they did pretty well. Um, obviously, the AI is never going to be as great. Um, I think the best unit, the, like one of their best units was this one here, Unsullied Spears, 138. Um, none of the cows are did extremely well. I mean, there's one there getting 99 kills. But I mean, I'm sure with like a player, this could be done better. So if any of you guys would like to play three, uh, not three kingdoms, seven kingdoms, there's a lot more in this one <laughs> than the Chinese three kingdoms, seven kingdoms, um, then please uh, do let me know. If you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description. And I'm more than, more than happy to play some seven kingdoms uh, on uh, the Discord. So anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next one.